playing the game. You don't know this? Ah, uh, no. What's that? It's Wonder Royal Arena of Battle. Ah, uh, sounds quite familiar. All of my friends play it. <laughs> you mean I'm not your friend? Come on, just join us and play it. Ah, uh, tell me more about it. I might consider playing that. Do you know LOL? Loving out loud. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's just about five people controlling their little guys fighting with uh, other five people. Okay, so I don't see the point. What's the purpose behind that? You just don't know, man. All of my male friends play this game. If I don't play this, I'll be left behind. Okay, so first, I know that so well. And second, uh, that makes me sense. It's similar to girls, you know that. Uh, it's like you have to have one common thing that you can talk about with each other. Mm, and as Jake said before that, Arena of Valor is one of the most popular games, mobile games in China right now. Like no matter what job you are, uh, like what age you are, or uh, just like what if you are boys or girls, everybody is playing that. So that's the reason why we've chosen three other games that uh, Chinese people are playing. There's a game quite similar to the Arena of Valor. Its name is Player Unknown Battleground. And uh, it's about uh, at first 100 people is on an island, and then you will be sent to the island randomly. Mm -hmm. And then you have to pick up all the equipment you need to survive, such as guns, hammers. And the most important part is you have to kill all of the other players. And if you are the last players survive in the island, then you win the game. Of course, you can group your friends up to four person. Yeah, that sounds interesting. And in Chinese, that is called 吃鸡游戏, kind of like eating chicken. Yes. <laughs> And the purpose of uh, this game is quite similar to the Arena of Valor. It's like, because you can uh, build a team, form team with your friends, so you can always like socializing with your friends and uh, you can win the game, killing others, you know, revenge. I've talked a lot about boys' games, so what about girls? Oh, we have a lot to play, and one of them is Racing Frog. It's kind of like you have a frog at home, and he will like go traveling a lot, or like bring his friends home. And what he have to do is just like wait at home and prepare the food for him. So what's the purpose of playing this game? You just can't control the results. Ah, uh, just for fun. It's like kind of like raising a song, you know, and uh, just like. Uh, Songs and boys are always naughty, but we have very calm down, like very comforting in the world. And besides racing itself, there's another game which enables us to raise four husbands. Four husbands? Yes. That's quite illegal in China. <laughs> legal in mobile games. <laughs> so they are uh, bossy CEO, uh, fancy stars. Uh, very super policeman and bad bad scientist. <laughs> it's like uh, I think it matches the girls in the world. You know, it's like our expectations for our future husbands. We've seen lots of like movies or like fairy tales. We have our own uh, dreaming him in our mind, and it might be hard to find them or find a him that Mr. Right in the real life, but. It's possible in the game. <laughs> so that's what we are playing, our girls are playing. We've talked about four famous mobile games in China, and the purpose for the boys and the girls is quite different. Yeah, might be a little bit different, but it's like boys are more for socializing with friends, and for girls, it's like we focus on the inner world, and there's always a need behind the, all these games. So it's not that superficial, okay? <laughs> so if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and leave your comment below like what's your favorite Chinese game or what's your favorite mobile game? <laughs>